Carol from the Saskatoon Public Library and I'd like to welcome everyone to my home on Treaty 6 land in the homeland of the Métis. Welcome to today's Crafternoon program. Today we're going to be making some spring eggs by using yarn or thread wrapped around a balloon and once it's popped we can fill these eggs with little chocolates or just use them for decorations. So we're going to get started right away with some of the supplies you need. You'll need some gloves because this is a fairly messy project. Um, so something to cover your table helps as well. I've got um, wax paper up top over the top of my tablecloth. You need some small balloons if you want to make the small size. So I've got a package of the five inch balloons. Um, the water bomb balloons work well too. They're even on just a little bit smaller, so they make a really nice egg size. If you want a larger egg, you'll need to get a little bit larger balloon. Most places have the 12 inch ones. Um, if you want a really big one, you can go it all the way up to 12 inches, but I'm gonna show you some that are not quite 12 inches, but they are the bigger balloons. Okay, we've got our gloves, we've got or white glue, and we're going to pour white glue into our container here. And then we're going to use, um, try and make it, they call it safe for about an equal amount, but I think I use a little bit less water. We'll just mix it up like this and see what type of consistency we, we can get. So just mix the glue into the water. You don't want it really runny, but you don't want it thick either. It's still very thick. I think we'll put just a little bit more water into that. Okay, something like that looks good. Next we need to blow up one of our small balloons. It's good to stretch them a bit first because they are hard to blow up. Get it to sort of an egg shaped size, depending on what size you want. I think that looks about like what I need. I'm tie it off, which works really well in, in these gloves, but we'll see what I can do. Likely I'll get the glove caught in there. Got it. Okay, one egg shaped balloon. And now for the thread. Um, I found that this thread from the dollar store works really well. It comes with two of the same colors in these skeins. So I'm just going to take one apart, find the end, not an end there, ah, there's an end. Okay, and then we're going to start just trying to put it um, as carefully as you can into your container, sort of wrap it around. You're trying not to get it so that it becomes tangled. So just wrap it around in a circle if you can. Um, once your, your gloves get some glue on them, that's not so easy because it sticks to your, your gloves, but do the best you can. Okay, and keep the end so that you can find it. 
Now you're just going to kind of pat that down into the glue. Again, trying not to disturb it too much because you don't want it to get tangled. Okay, make sure you get a little bit of glue on your end. And then take your balloon. Sometimes it helps to wrap one, one loop around the, the end of your balloon. And then you want to try and squeeze as much glue as you can off back into the bowl. Do it in quarters to start with. This gives a nice base. And then you wrap it any way you want. Again, trying to take as much glue off the thread as you wrap as you can. Um, the more glue you have on it, the more um, glue sits in between your panes and it's hard to get it off once it's dry. So I'm trying to get as much glue off as I can as I'm wrapping. You want to try and get as many panes as you can covered. And I've got a big section on the side here that needs to have some. And down this side, oh, it's getting a little bit more too much glue on there again. Oops, become slippery. Okay, I've got another place that could use a few little bit more covering. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty well covered. Pat down the end. If there's any that seem like they need a little bit more covering, you can try and move it over just a little bit without disturbing it too much. There we go. Okay, and then you need to find a place to put it. I'm using just one of these drink cartons. Um, I'm going to leave it in here overnight to dry. And at some point I will turn it so that the bottom will dry as well. And that's basically how you create one of these string eggs. Next, we're going to show you some of the things that you can do with these eggs once you have them dried and dried. I'll show you how you can pop the balloon inside and then some ideas for what you can do with it. Okay, now that I've got some eggs that have dried, I have a, a nice green one here, a purple one, and one that was made with thin yarn, and it's the orange one. So I want to show you how we can pop these balloons and what they're like to take out. So I'm going to make a little hole with some tweezers just in the bottom. Sometimes it'll start collapsing on its own, but other times you just kind of have to help it a little bit. Like pushing it down, trying to, if there's any of the strings that get caught, try and loosen them so you will keep your egg shape. starting to collapse on its own now. one, 
see how it goes. That popped it. This was made using that thread from the dollar store. But you can also use crochet cotton to the orange one, which is yarn in just a minute. glue that down. Actually, it's not too bad. And take this piece out from one of the bigger holes. There you go. Now I'm, gonna, no, I'm going to weave that one in to here. Once more, oops, with the orange one, this one is the yarn. We'll see how well it comes apart. And it doesn't look like it's going to be holding its shape very well at all. I think it might have needed to, the yarn might have needed to dry a little bit more. This one did not work and that happens so it's kind of a squashed mess now what you can do when something like this happens is condense it all the way maybe cut off oh you can even use that almost as a little handle I'm just going to tie that around there. And you have a tiny little basket. Put some eggs in that and that'll work well for a little decoration. I had to do the same with a bigger one. It's got a nice bowl shape so you can put um, chocolate eggs in there or spring flowers, something like that. Um, one of the recipes I saw for doing this called for sugar water. You put half, uh, half a cup of water, warm water with a cup of sugar, and then you dip your egg, submerge your egg in it, get wa sugar water all around it. I did that with this and it did turn out pretty hard, except I didn't let it dry all the way and it pulled away. So as it was drying, I pushed the center part in. And again, I have a nice little bowl, which I can set Easter goodies in. So if you're using the sugar water method, let it dry for more than 24 hours, a couple days. When you think it's dry, give it another day. <laughs> it, uh, it, it does work in the end, it's just you do need to really make sure to dry it. Uh, the other thing with sugar water is if you want to keep it afterwards, you'll need to paint it with some sort of a cedar. Mm -hmm. There was another one where the balloon itself deflated on me. But we do have a few that are nice eggs. Um, I'm going to get some more and show you something else we can do with them. Okay, now that I have some of these eggs all completed, I have uh, a big purple, a red, a blue, a pink, another red, an orange, a green, and another purple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make these into a garland and I thought it might be neat to, to put a little light in them. So this is going to be a trial. I got one of these very fine little filament lights from the dollar store again. And I am going to tuck it in to the top of an egg. And I'm just going to use a little bit of a glue gun to kind of secure it in place. Okay, you just hold it there for a couple seconds. Okay. And then I've got one, two, and this is a third one inside. So then I've got another one, and I'm going to put this one in the green egg. It's going to slip down into here. Try and make it sort of even. Okay. Okay, we'll turn it on here and see how it looks. And we have a string of lighted Easter eggs. And those are going to look really great when you put them in a dark room because you'll get all the lines from the strings casting different shadows. Take the, I'll see if I can get a shot of that in a dark room in a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to try and make an egg display. So I have a large size egg that I've made and I am going to cut a circle hole about, let's see, somewhere around like that. I'm just going to make some marks so it kind of gives me an idea of where to cut. Well, not much of an idea. Let's see. Scissors. I didn't find any of the marks. Okay, there was one. center and now I am going to put some of this pink and purple paper grass in the bottom Start with 
that and see how that looks at the bottom of the egg. Spread it out a little bit. Now, well, this can use this to kind of give it a bit of a base. Actually, that does work. So I'm just going to glue the piece that we cut out to the bottom. And that'll just help anchor it a bit so it stands upright. There we go. Now, we have our little kind of a little nest egg in there. We can start by adding a few decorations. I got these really cute little bunnies in eggs. I'm going to see if I can slip them in. Put a couple of chocolate bunnies in there. Have some little chicks that can go in. Always need some carrots for bunnies. Here's a couple more little guys. Put a few flowers in the eggs, holes. Probably glue those on later. Oh, I found one more little green chick. We can go right up the top of the back here. As always, we can put some chocolate eggs maybe in the center. Okay, gonna glue the flowers into place. Since it's spring, I also got a little bird flying by. Have fun making some string eggs. Have fun with it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.